RMJ Movie Reviews back again with an on-the-fly movie review of The Mummy starring Tom Cruise. Well, um, I know everybody's everybody's been uh, talking about uh, the Brandon Fraser Mummy from 1999. Uh, I did not see that film theatrically. Um, actually, um, that film, The Mummy from 1999 starring Brandon Fraser, that, that film was actually released my junior year of high school. Matter of fact, I remember a girl who was uh, soon to be my girlfriend a couple months later when we were like talking. I remember her little sisters went to go see it and they were raving about how good it was. And I actually saw the film on an old school 1999 bootleg on the video cassette tapes where people go into the theater and tape it. Yes, it was that old school. And um, I thought it was fun. I just thought it was a dumb, fun movie. You know, whatever. Uh, the Mummy Returns. I actually thought that film had some cooler action in it. I thought The Rock's little cameo was kind of cool. And I liked the whole little thing of like uh, Brandon Frazier's wife fighting the girl. And they kind of had like some psychic link from the past. And they were fighting with the size. I thought that was kind of cool. And uh, But I, I thought that movie was too long. But I, I, I still thought The Money Returns was okay. At a BC from Oz was in it. The third Mummy movie with Jet Li... I was working at a movie theater in college. I saw pieces of it, but I, I, I think I went in and watched a little bit of it on break, but I never finished that film. Um, so I'm a casual uh, fan of the idea of the mummy and the universal monsters. I like the universal monsters, but the mummy in particular, I'm kind of just like, meh. Like even the movie The Monster Squad from the 80s, I mean, the mummy was like the least like threatening character. So that character has just always just kind of been like, meh to me. I've never seen any of the old the old mummy movies from back in the day. Pieces, but never seen any of them. So what did I think of this Tom Cruise movie? It was okay. That's all I can really say is that it was just all right. Um, I've heard negative reviews about how people are saying like, oh, the script is mixed. It's trying to be a comedy and then it's trying to be dark horror and it doesn't know what it wants to be. Uh, I would to an extent agree with that. Like, as far as I'm concerned, I didn't mind the little, I didn't mind Tom Cruise's character being a selfish a-hole and I didn't mind, um, kind of the little, uh, lame comedy jokes. I was fine with that. That's okay. Uh, basically where I had an issue with the film is that it just, there's a lot of potential there and it just wasn't as fun as it could have been. It's merely just okay. Now, in my opinion, I think it, it's cool that they, they tried to go because the, the Brandon Fraser one was kind of a little bit kind of goofy. But I like that with this one, they tried to make it a little bit darker, you know, which was cool. I was fine with that. I was fine with kind of the more horror kind of imagery. That was cool. Where I took issue was that I think they kind of should have done... I'll give a comparison, like like Jaws, Steven Spielberg's Jaws, the first one. How like that film had, I'm not talking about the character beats of that movie, but as far as that movie had real good moments of horror, genuine horror, and then it had thrilling action beats in between. And I think that's where they really should have left their focus with thrilling action beats and horror. The little comedy stuff in between, I think that was fine the way it was, but I really think they should have really kept the, the goofy comedy, horror, and action thrills. And I think kind of about halfway through the movie, the action thrills part kind of went down, and they kind of tried to increase the horror, which was fine, but there's really no comedy that comes along with with the horror so it's just kind of neutral in between here while the horror is here and the action beats kind of go there because i will say and other movie reviews have said it that plane sequence with them like where there's no gravity and they're flying around that is so badass that is so cool i i was like amped on that scene i really like that scene and where like the girl flies out and you can see like tom cruise the plane is going around and he's like oh and you can see the background spinning badass i loved it i was amped on that scene like i really felt like i was falling i was like okay that was cool and um there's a scene at the finale where you know tom cruise does his typical mission impossible run and the girls run away i was amped i was like i was like yes 
And the, and the cool little sequence in Iraq at the beginning where like there's bombs going off and Tom Cruise and the other guy, um, the guy from the Adams family, those of you who are old enough knows he's from the Adams family and Adams family values, where they jump off the roof and the bomb goes off. I was amped. I was like, yes. And I think had they kept those action sequences up here along with the horror. So it, the, the whole movie literally should have been comedy beat, action beat horror and it should have just went those three comedy action horror comedy action horror comedy action horror okay we take a little beat to recuperate and action and horror together up here finale then the movie should have been over but as it stands it kind of lulls a little bit and um you know and i kind of lost track of what uh, the mummy's like master plan was kind of after a while I didn't care and there's just kind of like a thing where Tom Cruise is cursed and he's immortal I was just kind of like, uh, but but I, I but there's some people who are just saying this movie is horrible and it's bad I don't think it's horrible or bad I I mildly in, enjoy most of it I thought it was I thought it was okay I thought it was dumb mindless fun but I just think there should have been more action beats in between the horror beats. And there's a little bit in there where they kind of try to, you know, steal a little bit from American Werewolf in London with a dead friend. A little bit of Pascal from Pet Cemetery 2 trying to crack the jokes and be dead and nobody else can see him and all of that. Which, you know, that was okay. That was a nice little horror beat that they paid homage to. Yeah, I thought that was fine. It's just I wish there would have been more action thrills along with the horror thrills but it's 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 okay i i would say you know go check it out during the day and i think it's so it, it was all right i don't know how long the movie is but it started to feel a little long maybe that was because i went to see the little preview thing right when i got off work because i wanted to upload the review i don't know but um it was all right uh i would definitely say it's a mildly good time um yeah you know, and Tom Cruise, there's kind of one thing I wish they would stop. I kind of wish I would like for Tom Cruise to start to play his age in films. But look, don't get me wrong. The man looks good, and he's still handling the action beats very good for his age. Because I, I think Tom Cruise has like got to be at least 52. Or he might, he might almost be 55, I think. He's almost in his mid-50s, I think. I'd like for him to start to play his age in films. Not because the man does not look good. He he's in very good shape. I mean, there's a scene where he's got his shirt off, and I'm like, I'm like, yeah, man, he he kicked his butt. For a man his age, he kicked his butt in the gym, and then that nutritionist kept him on point. So he looks good. But there's like all these scenes where they're trying to pass him off as like a sex symbol, and it's like, like I said, the man looks good for his age. But I'd really like for him to start playing his age more. One thing I will say I respect in this film is that his love interest is older. She's not a 21-year-old or a 25-year-old. This chick, I'd say, got to be at least 33. So this this chick who's his love interest is, is minimum age 30 to mid-30. So I did like that they chose a woman. I mean, to me, that's not older. That's perfect for me because that's my age. But I'm saying I like that they chose a woman in Hollywood terms that's older than 25 and I did like that I felt that his her maturity was a little bit closer to what Tom Cruise's would be in real life so it's an okay time waster not great not horrible it's just kind of okay um hey check it out if you choose to thumbs up the video subscribe to the channel hit the little bell and share the video and leave comments down below about how you felt about the old old school the brandon frazier mummy movies what universal is doing with this franchise and um you know what you felt about the film rj boo reviews i'll see you soon